Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the 19th part in this series where we are building a personal dashboard app using Angular. In this video, we're going to be creating the bookmark service. All right then, so let's go and uh, go back to the code. And um, let's go and create the service for the bookmarks. So let's do, so let's do ng generate service or ngGS for the shorthand version. Um, and then the name of the service will be bookmark. Okay, press enter. Okay, and that's been created. Um, and actually, I forgot to put it in the shared folder. So let's actually move this into the shared folder. Let's go and find the shared folder and put it in there. Okay, cool. All right, so here it is. And um, cool. All right, so um, the next thing we can do is create the model for the bookmark. So let's go to the shared folder. Let's do new file and let's do bookmark dot model dot ts okay all right so here we want to create the bookmark model so let's do export class bookmark all right and we're going to have an id so that's going to be of type string we're going to have a name so the bookmark will have a name and that'll be a string and we'll have a url for the bookmark okay and this will be of type url okay Cool. Um, so now let's go and create the constructor. Okay. And the first thing we can do is we can um, generate the ID. So um, before we do that, let's just go up here and import um, the um, UUID function. So let's do import v4 as UUID v4 from UUID, all right? And then here we can do this.id is equal to UUID v4. Okay, cool. All right, and then uh, let's go to the constructor and inside the constructor, we want to um, take in the name and that we of type string. And we also want to take in the URL. But here, um, I want the type of this to be string, okay? And that's because um, Later on, when we create the form, um, the user will be entering in the URL into an input, and that URL will be a string, right? So, um, so uh, in the constructor, we can then um, use this uh, string URL uh, to create a URL object, all right? So, uh, let's go here and let's do this.url is equal to new URL, okay? And here, we can pass in the URL string, right? So let's just pass in URL like that, and there we go. Um, and now we can do this.name is equal to name, okay? Cool, all right, so let's save that now, and uh, let's go back to the bookmark service. And now let's create a uh, property here called bookmarks, and this will be an array of bookmark, okay? And then let's go and start creating the methods. So let's go here and let's do um, get bookmarks. And this will simply return this.bookmarks. Okay, let's do get bookmark. And uh, it will take in the ID. Okay, and here we can do. Return this dot bookmarks dot find, and then here we'll get the bookmark object. And here we have to check if the bookmark ID is equal to the ID that was passed in, like that. Okay. Let's now go on to add bookmark, and we'll take in a bookmark object. Okay, and then uh, here we can do this dot bookmarks dot push bookmark. Okay, and now let's go into update bookmark. It will take in the ID and it will take in the updated fields, and that'll be a partial bookmark. Okay, and now we can do const bookmark is equal to this dot get bookmark and pass in the ID. So now we have the bookmark object. 
Okay, and then we can do object dot assign. Okay, and the bookmark will be the target and the source will be the updated fields. Okay, cool. All right, so now we can move on to delete bookmark and I've just taken the ID. Okay, and then here um, we can do const bookmark index is equal to this dot bookmarks dot find index and uh, here we'll get the bookmark and here we have to check if the bookmark ID is equal to the ID that was passed in okay and here we now want to check if this has returned minus one because it can return minus one in the case where no bookmark was found so if bookmark index is equal to minus one then we can return okay so that the code below here won't be executed in that case okay and then here we can now do this dot bookmarks dot splice and we have to pass in the start index and that will be the bookmark index and then the delete count will be one okay cool all right so let's um save that now cool all right so now let's go back to the application and what we can now do is uh we can now um work on the bookmarks view and uh, we can make these bookmark tiles um generated dynamically based on uh, the bookmarks array inside the service, right? Cool, all right, so let's go and do that next.